Well, we just finished a really great You Can Do It Too session here at the office. Had great folks here. And, of course, my dear friend R.C. And, hey, that guy's a magician. He showed a really cool little tip in creating a web poster. So I said, hey, it's about time I actually get this done for folks. So here we are. I'm going to get going right off the bat. I've created a folder over here that says Web Posters. I did that in my, in my Actions Palette by clicking on the menu over here. First, clicking on New Set. That was the web poster you just saw. Now I'm going to click one that says New Action. So in this web poster f file right here, I'm going to create a new action. I'm just going to call it, just call it White Poster. I know that later on I'm going to sit there and go to button mode, so I'm just going to give it a color. Then click on Record. So the goal here is to take this big full file and with a single click have it all ready to go onto the blog or the website, however you want to use it somewhere on the internet. I'm going to come over here first and start by right clicking, flatten image. Then I'm going to start making the file size smaller. I'm going to go first to edit, mode, 18 or 8 bit, 18 bit. Ha, <laughs> funny. Then I'm going to go to edit, convert profile. I'm going to make sure my profile, you can see it's, it's pro photo RGB. I'm going to switch it to sRGB. Okie dokie. Next, all the images personally I put on the web. I always do a small adjustment layer and I bring up the brightness just a tad. The natural, I don't know what it is about the web, but the images seem to be a little bit darker, so I'm going to do that. With that, I'm going to right click again, flatten the image. Now I'll do some real cool little things. First of all, I'm going to hold down the Alt or Option key and double click on the word background to make that into a layer. It says Layer 0. Now I'm going to come over to Layer, New Fill Layer, Solid Color. Say Okie Dokie again. Say Okie Dokie to White. Now I made this into a layer because I'm going to take this layer I just created and drag it below it. Now here's the cool thing. I'm going to go to Control, Command, Minus. Make the canvas a little bit smaller so I can see what's going on. I'm going to tap the letter C for the crop tool. Click on the clear button. Quickly draw a crop across the whole image. Now by holding down the Alt, Shift, or Option Shift, I can come up and drag up one corner. People don't notice about the crop tool, and this is the really cool thing RC was teaching folks, is that you can expand this canvas just like this. Grab this handle here, drive, drag it up there. Is there a precision way of doing this? Oh, you betcha. Am I going to use it? No way. I'm going to make a quick thing that's going to go on the blog, so I'm going to do this quick. So once I've dragged that out, I've basically put the image in what you could say the optical formula, and I, or the optical center, and basically make it look like a poster. I hit the Enter key and watch. Instant. Isn't that cool? Man, that's just way cool. So now we're going to come in here and we're going to do some other things. We're going to have to, um, well, let's just come up here and uh, activate our layer with the photograph. Click on our uh, options here. We're going to go to drop shadow. Of course, these are my own personal preferences. You can, you know, do it however you want to. Uh, I'm just going to sit there and drag down the drag the drop shadow down. I'm going to sit there and spread it out a little bit, make it a little bit the size. I'm going to blur it out. Uh, I'm going to take the opacity. I make it 35. Let's see where we go. Okay. And okie dokie. And then let's uh, type the letter T. Let's get some text going here. Uh, click on my text layer. And what am I going to say here? I'm going to go with what font. Uh, my Red Pro is fine for now. Uh, you can see that the uh, font is white. I'm not worried about it for right at the moment. Besides, what I'm typing is now a secret. <laughs> Not till it's revealed will you know. No, I'm just going to come here, change the check to black, okie dokie. Uh, get rid of Moses there, make it a moose. Uh, take this up, and I'm just going to, there's a number of ways of sizing this. I'm going to first of all just bring it up, probably about 36 point, real quick. And then I'm going to click on my check mark. I'm going to control or command T. I'm going to transform that out and how do I center it <laughs> you know you, there's automation guess what I just sit there and do it by eye um, looks good enough hit enter close that off next thing I'm going to do is come over to my drop shadow 
and just click that and I'm going to go over to bevel and click on that say okie dokie come over to opacity for that layer I'm going to sit here and bring that opacity down for that layer bring it down yeah that looks good for there there's my text there's my poster now I'm going to sit here and go right click right click and flatten that puppy again flatten that image control alt i or command option i size it do 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 72 500 okie dokie I'm going to do a control shift s or command shift s do a save as and jpeg save 12 ok control or command w and then I'll come over here and stop the recording button boink so what does that do for me? Well, we double click here, we come back to that file again, open it up. Come over here to this drop down menu, hit button mode. We see the right there what I just created. I click on it and basically all those steps were recorded. Wang bang, double click. You can see the file was originally 117 megabytes, it's now 205. I click on it, open, and there is the poster. Oh, ho, ho, it's done. It's that fast. It's simple. I hope you enjoy it. Have fun. Thanks to Scott Kelby for originally giving me the idea and for RC for making me do it right now. Have a good one, guys.